Hi guys, what's up? My name is Arpit. Today I'll show you how to scrape Facebook for thousands of leads without any code and that too for free. We will scrape business information from Facebook like emails, phone numbers, websites and addresses. To do this, we will use a tool called Octopass. It's probably the most easiest and efficient tool that I've come across for scraping Facebook. I run a course called AI for Marketing No Code. In this course, I essentially cover how to leverage the power of artificial intelligence for your marketing. I also cover hack like these. This is data mining. It's part of artificial intelligence. To know more, you can attend the free webinar. The link is in the description. Facebook has a lot of information about businesses. Let me take you to my computer screen so that I can show it to you. Visit this link to see all business categories on Facebook. You can access the links and the script for the video from my blog. The link is in the description. So this page has hundreds and hundreds of business categories. This is a gold mine. I'm sure you can definitely find your target audience from here. They have just about any niche. I can't even read. There are so many of them. So once you know the category you want to scrape, just click on it. Like I will click on social media agency. They are a good target for my courses. Now to scrape information from these pages, we will have to build two tasks in Octopars. The first task will scrape the links of these pages. When I was testing, I scraped more than 2000 links, but I'm sure Facebook has way more than that. The second task in Octopars will scrape the about pages of these businesses. That's where we have the contact information displayed. All right, so let's begin. First, you need to download the latest version of Octopars. The link for it is in my blog, which is in the description. Once you've created your account and logged in, hover on new and then click on advanced mode. Then under the website section, put www.facebook.com and hit save. Now we need to train Octopars to log in into our Facebook account. So click on the email field on Facebook, then click on enter text, put your email ID and hit confirm. Then click on the password field, then click on enter text, put your password and hit confirm. Then click on login button and then select click button. You will see it logging in on your behalf. Then under the workflow section on the left, hover your cursor on the downward arrow and you will see a plus sign coming up. Click on it, then click on the downward arrow to open up more options. Select open page, then get into the action settings of go to web page. Head on to Facebook to copy the link of the category page that you want to scrape. Come back to Octopars and paste it in the URL field. Click on OK. Then click on Auto Detect Web Page to Scrape. Once completed, you will see it has detected some data that we could scrape, but we don't want all of this data. We just need one column which has the URLs for all these pages. So I will delete the other columns. Under the tips widget, you will see it has already selected Paginate to scrape more pages. If you click on check, you will see it has detected the next page button. So this means it will scrape the data from all the pages on its own. It has also added a page scroll. We just need to click on create workflow and it is done for you. Then from the top, click on run and then run task on your device. Then another window will pop up. You will see it is working. Isn't this really cool and simple to do? Let me know in the comment section. Then you can collect as many pages links you want. Like you see here, I have extracted more than 3000 pages. Then click on stop run, then extract data, then select Excel and click on OK. Name your file, then click on open file. We don't need the column heading. You can delete it. Let me quickly scroll down to show you these 3000 links. Now we need to add about at the end of these URLs. About is where you have all the contact information. We need to use an Excel formula. So go in the next column and put the formula. It is given in the blog as well. Equals to a one and quote, quote and quote about quote. A1 is the cell and about is what we want to add at the end. Once the sheet is ready, save it. Head on to Octopars. We will create a task. Hover on new, select advanced mode. From input URLs, click on import from file. 
click on select choose the file click on open select sheet 1 select column as b1 click on save then you will see go to the web page step has been added inside a loop we need to configure it so click on the action settings then inside after loading the page check scroll down the page after it is loaded then select scroll to the bottom of the page then from the wait time drop down select one second click on ok we need to make octopus login first so we will add a step above the loop click on the plus icon on the downward arrow expand the widget and choose open page then get into its settings under url field type in www.facebook.com and hit ok make it login once again click on email field then click on enter text put your email and hit confirm drag the step onto the top then click on password field then click on enter text put your password and hit confirm again drag the step then click on the login button and then select click button and drag the step then inside the loop urls box click on go to web page now we need to train the bot on what all to scrape so first we need the name of the page so click on it and select extract the text of the selected elements so click on the website and again select extract the text of selected elements do the same with their email we can also scrape addresses and phone numbers since this page has not shared it we will train octopars on some more pages so if you hover over the loop url step you will see a list symbol click on it select the second facebook page and then click on go to web page step now here you can see at the bottom it has learned how to scrape the page name but we need to train it to grab other details click on their website and then select extract the text of the selected elements do it with phone number and email id as well now we'll go to the next page so from the list select the third url and click on go to web page so here we can see it has collected all the information okay so we will go on the next page we still need to train it on scraping the address so we need to find an example i actually trained it on about 15 pages the more you do the better it is i trained it for how to scrape addresses you need to show it enough examples so it picks on it facebook will actually change the elements name so we cannot really use the xpath method i can vouch for this method that i'm using i played a lot with the tool it will collect a lot of data for you I'm going to fast forward the video till I train it on about 15 pages. Now since I'm done, I will save the task and then hit run. Then click on run task on your device. There will be a new window where you can see it working. At the bottom you will be able to see number of data line extracted. On each page it is scraping 10 Facebook pages. So you can stop when you think you have enough data. Again I will fast forward the video. Now you can see in this much time it has scraped these many pages. I will click on stop run, yes confirm, click on export data, select excel and click ok. Name the file and then click on open file. Here is the excel sheet with all scraped data. Have a look. To count the number of emails scraped, press ctrl f and put in at the rate, click on find all. You should validate these emails before you do an email outreach campaign. I'm sharing an email validator link with you from where you can validate your emails for free. The link is in the blog. You will also need to arrange this data. You will have to perform a number of steps in Excel to do that. But I actually use a free tool called Data Prep by Google. But I can show it to you probably in some of my other videos. I cover this tool in my AI for Marketing course. Feel free to be a part of it. To know more, attend the free webinar, the link is in the description. Like the video if you think you've learned something new. Let me know in the comment section what other websites you want me to scrape. Also consider subscribing the channel if you want to get updated about my new videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.